so I had plans to go to Cedar Key, Florida. That seemed like about the closest place I could be comfortable during the hard freeze that's coming to where I live in Alabama. And on my journey there, uh, about an hour and a half before I arrived, I saw a sign that said Keaton Beach. So I hit up the Compendium app, found that there's a couple of nice RV places at Keaton Beach. The low will be in the mid 40s tonight, which is way better than the upper teens and low 20s where I was living. So we're going to head there and see if we can get into one of these two campgrounds. There's a couple apparently. Both of them have decent ratings. We're going to try the one called Old Pavilion first. It seems to be rated the best. I have no idea what it'll cost to stay there for a night. Nevertheless, it means I only have to drive 20 more minutes rather than another hour and a half for about the same overnight low. And I'll be at a beach. I don't think you can get much better than that. So. Fingers crossed. Hoping this turns out well. The first thing you'll notice when you arrive at the old pavilion campground at Keaton Beach is just how quiet and peaceful this place is. Of course, there's inland camping and you also have a relatively decent selection of beachfront camping as well. Uh, the beach is very short and very compact. You're right next to what looks like to be a rather secluded, uh, wealthier neighborhood uh, both out looking this just gorgeous bay area again the word i would use the most is how tranquil and how peaceful it is to describe this place beautiful views standing on the deck of the old pavilion rv park keaton beach florida it's a little small tucked away isolated stretch of beach very quiet town uh, according to the uh, camp host here this place was devastated by a hurricane about a year ago so uh, some of the facilities are down, but run by very nice people. The proprietor here is Lynn. She was uh, very helpful, very accommodating. Um, I'd say the uh, RV spaces are tucked pretty tightly together, but the waterfront spaces are really nice. Uh, and the inland spaces are nice as well. Uh, if you're looking for a very, very quiet, boring waterside getaway for a, an amazing price, $20 a night for full hookups. Uh, I don't think you can beat the uh, stay here at the Old Pavilion uh, RV Park in Keaton Beach, Florida. The first afternoon I arrived, I thought it was a low tide because you could see a bit of the shore exposed there along the beachfront, as you'll see in a later video. I think this was actually high tide. You can see the water actually does extend out rather far when the tide is low, as you'll see in just a little bit. For the price, you can't beat these views. You can't beat this sunset. Um, it was gorgeous. It was probably a perfect two days for me, full of relaxation. I met some really great people from Australia, New Zealand, and Texas and California. And we sat out on the deck, and drank wine, and enjoyed the view and had conversations about our life. It was a wonderful time. If you're into boating, they do have boat ramp access. So you can see the boat ramp here. Uh, it's access to a canal which makes its way along some of these uh, beachfront properties that you'll see and then eventually makes its way out into the Gulf. So if you're into boating, I would say this would probably be a, a nice place for you to come and enjoy some boating activities. As far as swimming activities, it was winter time when I was here so it's hard for me to say about that. I didn't see a lot of great spots to access the water to swim. Finally, here's a look at low tide. This was the morning that I left. The tide was very low, and as you can see, um, land uh, mass extends a pretty good distance out from the uh, actual uh, public deck area that they've constructed here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the showers are still down. Uh, they were reconstructing them while I was there as a result of some hurricane damage. So depending on when you arrive to try a visit here, they may not have showers, but I highly recommend the Old Pavilion Campground here at Keaton Beach. It was just beautiful. I'll leave you with this uh, amazing time-lapse for, time photography of the uh, sunset that I captured while I was there. 